Howdy y'all. Been a little bit. I haven't been making very many videos. None actually, but I got something new and uh, <clears throat> thought I'd show it to you. Uh, yeah, you people who watch my videos know that I'm uh, usually not much of a helmet person. Michigan recently got rid of its helmet law and uh, I rode without a helmet for a little bit. And I gotta admit, after a while, the no helmet law thing was, it was cool, but after a while it was just, eh, this is kind of boring now, I can ride without a helmet, whoop de doo and I got thinking more and more about the fact that I'd like to uh, be around the next 10, 15 years or more, and uh, the odds of me making it into Morse Morse accident without a helmet on, pretty slim, so I bought a new half helmet, a little tight, gave me headaches, head vents in it, it was pretty cool, and uh, I decided to go with something that you of all who know me would think, no, not him, but I like it, and it's awesome. So I'm going to show it to you now, a little review on my new helmet. Take a guess on what kind it is. I'll give you two guesses. And the first one doesn't count. Car. That's right. Dun, 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 dun. No lens. Bag stuck. Crap. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm in the frame my new Nolan helmet. I'll open this thing up for you and let me have a look-see here. I know. Moose or full face. What the hell's going on? This thing's awesome. This baby is comfort in the making. Right here. It's called the Trilogy N43. Actually, let me rephrase that. It's called the Nolan N43E Trilogy Outlaw Helmet sleek lines, awesome curves, this baby is the best. Well, maybe not the best, but I love it. Been wearing it now for over a week, and I must say I'm very impressed with it. It's got detents, a couple of them, that for the uh, N43 original didn't have detents. And I can tell you it's nice, it's got three detents. This baby has a little bit more to offer. Check this out. Three quarter. That's right. Three quarter a helmet. The shield comes off, has little pieces that go on it. I'm not going to get into that right now. This thing is comfort and also has the pilot drop down shield in it, which I love. Haven't really figured out the whole vlogging thing with it yet, but I'm working on it. It also has no one's. What they're known for is their ratcheting helmet release, which is very cool. I love that. Great padding. Comes with the capability of putting the Encom system in it for Bluetooth and talk bike to bike. I'm going to do that later. Not for bike to bike, but for Bluetooth, my phone and stuff. Very comfortable helmet. It's probably the first full face helmet I've ever had that actually fits my head properly. I found out I'm a semi-round. It's very neat. In fact, the shield comes off, of course, like most full faces. And the drop-down shield. And uh, makes it so you can make a full three-quarter helmet out of it. It has little pieces that go in here. Take place of this. This is the most spectacular thing I've ever seen in my life. I love this. And it's DOT rated. It's a safe helmet. Uh, those of you who know Nolan, it's a full Italian-made helmet. Um, they make good stuff, I guess. Ferrari, right? That's Italian, I think. Clamps back in there, stainless steel bracketing. Uh, I believe it's a Lexan front face shield that's good for an accident. Extended face bar. It's a little tight on the chin, so if you have a protruding chin, it could be an issue. But uh, I'm going to order, eventually, I'm going to order this speaker system for the inside of it and um, the uh, Incom thing so I can. Use my new uh, phone I just got. Actually, it's a I just got my first smartphone ever. I like that too. It's through on uh, Net 10. I've been having more fun with that thing. I even use it as a mouse for my computer, but that doesn't really have anything to do with this video. This thing has very nice venting. It's a very nice, well vented helmet. It has two little vents in the shield here, right there and there. They don't close, but I hadn't really noticed a big problem with the air through there. I think it's just enough to keep the shield from fogging over a whole lot. It has the top vents, and then it also has the 
rear exhaust vents right here for uh, that air coming down and pulling the air out of the helmet. Has the uh, cool air liner on the inside, the cool liner I guess they call it for wicking away sweat. Uh, washable. Very padded, very nice. Let's see. Um, it's not the best release for the for the shield. I mean you gotta lose this little tool they give you. I can't get it off right now. I, I think you need the tool to do it. But anyways. They come off there and these turns, whole shield comes off. So that's my new helmet and I've been wearing it. It's great in the rain. I've been riding a lot in the rain lately. Um, I got some things on the way to make it so I can vlog with it. Uh, hopefully, there'll be another video in itself if what I had planned works. If it doesn't work, then I'll uh, think up something else. Oh, I guess it has another thing here. It's called a, uh, I think, the pin lock shield or something that goes in here. I guess it's for fog, I'm not sure. I haven't really tried it yet. I just lift the shield up a little bit when I'm riding like that. A lot of times it's like a little air conditioner. So yeah, Moose has gone full face, or uh, three quarter depending on the weather. So that's my new helmet, Nolan. N43E Trilogy Outlaw. The Outlaw is uh, basically just a uh, Trilogy helmet with less stickers on it, which I like. It's black. I'm not gonna put any stickers on this bad boy. I might get some spikes to the top though, that'd be kind of cool. Alright, well, that's it. My new helmet, made in Italy. Nolan. Moose has gone full face. Rock and roll.